Welcome to this informational video detailing the process of a non-surgical cow embryo flush. Embryo transfer in cattle is a popular process among beef and dairy producers. The technology originates from the 1970s and 80s, but the process can be documented as far back as the late 1800s. Cow embryo flushes help maximize the number of offspring a prized cow can produce. Typically, a cow can birth 8 to 10 calves during her life, but has the potential to produce 150,000 eggs. In combination with sperm from a superior bull, the process can spawn a genetically important cow. The process to retrieve embryos is safe for the cow and takes approximately 30 minutes. We will now demonstrate the cow embryo flush process. The first step is to anesthetize the back half of the cow. I'm going to do an epidural on this cow to block, block her rectum so she doesn't... Uh... This goes in along next to the spinal cord and blocks this whole area here, including the rectum, so that she doesn't uh, force down on my hand while I'm palpating her. The vulvar area is then scrubbed with an iodine soap solution. While the cow is being washed, the catheter is prepared. This is the Foley catheter that he uh, puts into the uterus and well, there you can, we um, blow up with air a, a cuff that holds it in place. Once he gets it positioned where he wants it, then this cuff holds it in place so that then the, the uh, medium will come out you know, behind it or in front of and drain back out again, so that's... Pictured here is a fully prepared catheter ready for insertion. The cow is now ready to be flushed. The flush solution medium travels through the catheter into the cow horn and helps facilitate the removal of embryos. I'm going to put the first catheter in the left horn, so I'm going to thread it, okay, through the cervix, direct it into the left horn, and get it uh, a little past the bifurcation of the two horns, and then blow the cuff up so it isolates the anterior portion of the uh, left horn. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's good. So now the catheter is in the left horn with the cuff uh, inflated to keep it in place. Now fill that left horn with medium and then empty it and we'll do, do a series of fills and empties to wash out that horn. Open. The embryos at this point, which is day seven after breeding, 
are in the anterior portion of the horn, of each horn. So our aim is to just wash those embryos out of the uterus. Close. And 25 to 50 cc's of fluid for Marilyn to search under the scope. Close. Open. Close. So now that we've got the uterus empty, we'll take the cuff down and remove that catheter. Close. Rinse the hose and the catheter out a little bit. After the first horn has been flushed, the process is repeated for the second horn. Once the embryos have been collected, they are separated under a microscope and stored. So when I find an embryo, I just pick it up in this tip. And then, I put it over in a petri dish. Thank you for viewing this informational video on a non-surgical cow embryo flush.